I'm going to start doing a little bit and and get uh, and let Randy. He and I are just going to do for a minute or two. Uh, you know, we're just going to do a two-man type thing. The final conflict. That's what they call it. Jerry the King Lawler. Dutch Mantel Lawler, the challenger, Mantel, the champion. Now there's an interesting move right there. You saw Dutch cock his foot. Lawler had his back to that barbed wire, and Dutch was ready to kick him right into the wire, and Lawler let it go. It's not worth it. Dutch has already got a hole in his hand from uh, going into the barbed wire. Uh-oh, Lawler. Knocked down on the side of the ropes, and Mantell pulls him out to the other side of the ring, but Lawler holding on to the mat. And let me say again, this is new barbed wire, and those points are razor sharp. It's bad enough to face either one of these guys, but imagine with that barbed wire threatening all the way. We're going to ask Randy Hale to uh, pick it up here. Boy, this has been some kind of a battle. It has not started typically the way they do, Randy, because uh, the action, they're cautious, very cautious, but you can tell the intensity is there. That's right, Lance. They have to be careful with the barbed wire, but it'll be a wild match. We've seen Dutch and Lawler go several times. It's been wild all the way through. This time, Dutch going in as a Southern champion. Lawler, the challenger, and he has not stepped in the ring too many times, Lance, as a challenger in a Southern Championship. So I'm sure his strategy will be a little bit different in this match. Well, Mantell is, is well aware that he is among a rare breed of people who have been able to get three wins over Jerry Lawler, and that's what Mantell has. So you can bet that is a new experience, as you pointed out, for Lawler. Oh, and right back in the corner, Mantell going after him. He grabs a strand of the barbed wire to pull it up to the back. There is no disqualification, so there is nothing illegal, though the referee is trying his best to prevent it from happening. Now Lawler reversing the flow as he grabs the strand of barbed wire. He's being held in a side headlock. Trying to pull it up near the Dutchman. That'll cause a break in a hurry. I think one of the interesting things, Randy, is the way that the barbed wire affects the type of match. Now, some people I've heard say already, well, a barbed wire is going to change the whole thing, and that's true. It is going to change it. But the principle being, the barbed wire is there to keep them inside the ring. You know from past bouts that you've seen with them that Lawler and Mantell both will hop out in a heartbeat, grab a chair, or bang another guy's head into the uh, ring post. That chair changed the tide in the last win that Mantell had when he hit Lawler in the knee. So it is going to change it, but that's part of it. That's right, but both of them will still be going 100, a count of two. By Dutch, he almost got him, Lance, early in the match. That's pretty surprising to me that he could get a two count so early in the match. I think the interesting thing right there, Randy, was the fact that he whipped Jerry in. Lawler's attention was diverted by hitting those ropes and looking out for that barbed wire. He did not have his full attention on Dutch when he came off. And Dutch hit him with a flying press, and as you said, got that count on him. That's right, and here we go again, another two count. So Lance, it looks like the bar wire will be a factor, a big factor in this match, as we knew it would when we came out. But the electricity in the building, the crowd ready for Dutch and Lawler, and they're both battling it out, and I've been excited all night. This should be a well of a match. It is going at it, full steam right now, Mantell and Lawler. Dutch takes him over to the side. We cannot see how close he is to the barbed wire. But we know what his intention is.
like we're seeing a little crimson, I'm not sure, out of Lawler's right eye as Mantell takes him into that barbed wire. Oh, boy. Not a little. Now as we get a good shot of it, Lawler bleeding heavily from at least the right eye. It is not down under the eye, but it is right at the hairline of the eyebrow of the right eye. I can't tell whether it got him poked a hole in the other side of his face or not. This is a brutal match. Mantell gloms him with that right hand, and the king slopes. Slides down in the corner. Uh. Lawler aware of the fact. There's that forearm uppercut. We had a conversation with Lawler. And he was the first to admit that the last action that he had with Mantell was not one of the shining bright spots for Jerry Lawler. The tide turned when that chair hit him in the knee. Jerry's swinging wildly. It may be bothering, I'm sure it is, the vision now as I look at it in that right eye and look at Mantell go for him. Boy, the tough Dutchman out of oil trough. He is some kind of rugged. Hungry is the word that Dutch uses. He said Lawler's not hungry anymore. He's had it all, champion six out of ten years, wrestler of the decade in the 70s. All of the honors you can have. And Lawler, again, is... Whoa! Lawler booted Mantell right in the face. Leaned on the rope, used the cunning, brutal as it was, and he kicked Mantell right in the face. On the chops. Now you can't ever count the king out. We should know better. We're about 12 and a half minutes into the action. And Lawler paying back Mantell as Mantell trying to fight him off. And the referee trying to get Lawler away. Lawler mashing Mantell's head into that barbed wire. Rattles him again and Dutch is down. Ooh. Look at Mantell fight it back. Here comes Lawler. Uh-oh, once again, Mantell being pressed into that wire as he's battling with Lawler. 